uh, RAF search and rescue work. He switched to the air ambulance service, but it's a job that he says has some very sad and dark moments. For the last year, the Duke of Cambridge has been working for the team in East Anglia. Now, as part of National Air Ambulance Week, he's been talking about some of the things he's witnessed in his role, as our royal correspondent Nicholas Witchell reports. I look forward to coming here every day, um, whether it's at 5.30 or going to bed at 2 in the morning. The shift work is still it's, it's exciting and it's challenging for, for its variety more than anything. And the fact that I love working in a team. And that's something that my other job doesn't necessarily do. I'm sort of, you know, you're more out there on your own a little bit. It's a job which he chose and it makes a critical difference to people's lives. One day he'll be king, but for now, William Wales is content to prove his worth as an air ambulance pilot. When I put my, my air ambulance hat on and I come here and I fly, yeah, I'm one of the team, I just uh, I want to get the job done and at the end of the day feel like I've made a, made a difference and a contribution. It was in the summer of last year that William, who'd given up his role as an RAF search and rescue pilot, retrained and started work as a civilian pilot for the East Anglian Air Ambulance. When I turn up, people are a little bit uh, unsure of, of how to be around me and they're not quite sure how far they can push it more than anything. But when I first got here, it was very polite. It's now got a lot worse. <laughs> As they got to know me, they've got their, their, their inhibitions have gone. I've got worse nicknames. They've gone up the ladder. And now, between pilot and co-pilot, there's an easy camaraderie. If I wasn't doing this job, uh, what would I be doing? I think mine's fairly obvious. <laughs> the arrival of an air ambulance at an incident inevitably attracts attention. So how do people react when they realise William is one of the pilots? There might be an initial surprise when, when William's there uh, on scene, but that's, he's, part of the, he's part of the team, and very quickly you know, everyone realises that. I, I was a little bit um, anxious of, of some of that when I first started, because um, I didn't want to bring you know, any chaos or any sort of unhelpfulness to the scene. Um, and actually, it's, it's worked out. better than I could possibly have thought. Frequently, of course, the air ambulance crews witness scenes which can be deeply distressing. There are some, some very sad, dark moments, and, um, you know, we talk about it a lot, but it's hard. You, you know, you, you try not to take it away from you, but it can be quite, quite difficult. But for all the sad moments, the role of an air ambulance pilot brings the special satisfaction of saving lives which would otherwise be lost. The one job that I feel the most... Um, most proud about that we made the most difference. It was probably a job very early on, actually, when I first started. We immediately realised it was a very serious crash from, from overhead. The two occupants of the, of the, the van, um, uncle and nephew, and very sadly the uncle didn't make it, but the nephew did. Um, he was very badly injured. I think I broke every, every bone in my body, pretty much. <laughs> my legs were, like, shattered, so they, they put all metal rods down them and and I had to learn to walk again. I'm really grateful for getting me through it, getting me out so fast and just being there. Having seen how bad he was and seeing where he is now, it's, um, that does make you realise that this and the stuff that the team do is, is really crucial. Nicholas Witchell, BBC News.